We have done our first three pulls. The whole way through, these indicators are cooler. Well, that's a huge difference in the graph and the curve there. Freaking Tyson. Six O's. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I am Todd, and with me today, hosting today, is Meyer. Mer. 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 Birth certificate says Meyer, identifies as Mer. Exactly. Got it. Got it. So this is, this is Mer, and today we have a pretty fun video. I'm actually really excited about this. We've been playing yes. with this for a while. You're excited. Yes, we've been playing around with injector testing. So we, I'll, I'll let you, let you talk. All right, I'll talk for a minute. So we've been doing some injector testing. Um, for one, I don't know if you guys have noticed out there, but fuel is getting a little bit steep, a little pricey. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking, what can we do? What are the things you can actually do that can make a difference? And the injectors, where the fuel comes out, if you can make that more efficient, yep. hopefully you can pick up some fuel, fuel mileage. So we've been working on injectors for a while now, mm -hmm. and we, we're going a new route. So in the past, all of our power-driven injectors have been based on a stock nozzle. We buy a nozzle from a manufacturer, and we modify it. Um, it's a cheap, inexpensive way to do it, and we can offer very affordable injectors as well as anybody else in the market. A lot of people offer, you know, you simply EDM out the holes, you can kind of massage the angles a little bit, and you can kind of make them bigger, and that's where you stop. It's kind of crude, but it works. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're taking a stock nozzle, and then if we want more power from it, we make it bigger. That's the standard... The cliff notes of what I just yes. said. Yep, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we make them bigger, but it's not... It's not what like a Caterpillar or Cummins does from the factory. So on these ones, those big guys start with a blank nozzle, no holes. I mean, they're the ones cutting the nozzle in the first place, right? Mm -hmm. So with this new series of injectors we've been playing with, we actually have a, a company we can work with that can take a blank nozzle, put the holes in we want, and they can do a lot more work. Like you've heard of honing and heard of all these other things. You know, you can make the same size hole flow a lot or a little, depending yeah. on how you prepare the, the entrance to the hole, the exit, the preparation of the hole itself. Yep a lot of changes you can make and all of that adds cost in the past it didn't matter just give me a bigger hole and i want more fuel and it's, it's great but today in today's world we're like we need to find a way to get you know more efficiency so we can burn less fuel to go down the road burn less fuel burn cleaner yeah just less every, smoke less heat yeah, because we're basically making a smaller nozzle act like a much bigger nozzle giving you the best of both worlds so that's been the goal and in my in life have you ever experienced this where you've done something and it's been better in every single way? No compromise. Usually, okay, I want a big turbo, get more power. Well, that's a compromise of slower power. spool yep. or, or vice versa. In life, like I want a bigger house. Well, great, but now you got to pay your taxes and your air conditioning. And it seems like there's never like better in every single way. Can you think of that ever happening? So I know the right answer is yes, I'm going to stick to that. And we're not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> In one instance, we have found better in every way. So what we're going to do today, this has in a set of our 5x11 injectors. This is a 12-valve 98. Yep. This is a Vin D. This is actually a short bed Vin D. Yep. And uh, we've got a, it's a 180 pump. Yes. So it's a 180 pump. And um, we've got 5x11, just power driven diesel 5x11s. Yep. And we've got one of our uh, HE351s that we had laying around. Yep. It's a 6767, so we didn't want fuel to limit, or air to limit us. Yep, that's correct. But more air than we have pump. We should. We should have more air than pump in this truck. So we're going to test the 5i11s, which are a great injector with a lot of luck with them, a lot of good results with them. We're going to compare to these new injectors that are, they don't even have a size. They're, they're different. They're just different. We're kind of, yeah. they're just, we're trying to get like a similar power level, you know, to that. But anyway, guys, we're going to get this on the dyno. We're going to do the 5i11s. They're going to do the super injectors. I haven't got a name for them yet. Like this, it's kind of all brand new. So I'm really excited about it. I want to show it to you. And uh, we're going to just, Dino it? Yeah, dino it, get some numbers. We're looking at EGT, we're looking at boost, and we're gonna be having the camera on the exhaust so we can see how clean it's burning, kind of get better details on how well these are working. So We're also gonna monitor the AFC pressure so yep. we make sure we have the exact same feeling on, on yep. both sets. The best we can do. So yeah, we're gonna do a couple different, we're gonna do like a, uh, like a limp mode, like 120, I think it's probably about 200 horsepower probably, mm -hmm. no, no pressure to the AFC. We're gonna do a full power run where we're running full pressure to the AFC. And then we're gonna do like a more of a towing power, like three, 400 PS, uh, three, 400 horsepower, like say 10 PSI to the AFC. We, yeah. we haven't figured that out yet, but those three different situations kind of see where, if there's a certain spot that they shine or they don't, or you know, just kind of get more data points. Yeah, so anyway. Strap in, here we go. And on a side note, I must say, I do enjoy filming with you. This is the only person who works with me who doesn't need a stool to stand next to me. So Myers, my new guy. Right back to my stool, okay, good. Yeah, there you go. No <laughs> stool here, he's, he's tall as you, so that's great. So 
Anyway, Meyer, let's get this thing going because we're strapped on this. Let's do our first pull. Let's do it. All right, guys, we have done our first three poles. We did a max power pole, a valet pole, and then like a towing simulation with a, about, about was a six or seven PSI in the AFC housing? Yeah, six and a half. So that way we can repeat it for the next one. So now we're gonna quickly go over the graphs, look at uh, EGT, boost, stuff like that. And then we're gonna just do the, then we're gonna swap injectors and do them all again. So quickly right here, this is our what? Um, this is full power obviously with the 5x11s, that is 1375 EGTs at the very end there. We got 44 pounds of boost on this charger against the 6767. And we hit, let's just go over here to the summary. We did 416 horsepower and 844 foot-pounds of torque. And this is through 5x11s. 5x11s. This, so, this is a pretty mild setup. It's still a good yeah. power. Good power. Yeah, good power for it. The charger obviously has plenty more in it. So, yeah, you've done how much in this charger? I've done nine and some change. A little yeah. over 900, so plenty of turbo, That's which is what we wanted. We actually ran this before in a stock charger. Yep. And we like ran We were it, fuel uh, limited on it. I mean, we were air, air limited. limited on everything. So it was kind of. Put a big turbo on it. So yep. anyway, it looks really good. So 416 horsepower, 44 foot pounds of torque. EGT was what? 1375? 1375, yeah. By the end of the run? Yep. All right. So how about our, let's go over here. I got a. Scroll down and find it. Oof. We're gonna do, is this the power, is this the? Tuned. Tuned mode? Tuned mode, yep. 301. So 301 horsepower, 593 foot-pounds of torque. 300, 300 horsepower to the ground, that's like, 600 foot-pounds to the ground. That's, that's a towing beast. That's a good towing tune, Yeah, you, sure. can, you can do, you can haul a lot of weight with that. And what was our max EGT on that guy? Max EGT was? 1100. 1109. Yeah, and that's clear up at, you know, 30. Yeah. Well, what's your engine uh, speed here? I uh, don't have it. That's all right. That's got to be clear with 3,000 RPM to get that hot. 3,100. Yep. Yeah, so that's what you're wrapping it out. You probably wouldn't even see that much heat if you were down like 22, 2300 where you're going to be towing. Yep. Um, so anyway, great EGT control, which has kind of been the thing with that turbo. Yeah. That but great... side note, okay, on the injectors, there's your numbers. And then... We got the valet mode. We'll go back to that. This oh, is yeah. just no pressure in the AFC. And we did 261 horsepower. So, and then 469 foot pounds. Which of is torque. still a good, I mean, you can yeah. still. I mean, again, these, uh, these injectors, do they have DVs in this? Are they stock? Are they 05s? They'd, they'd be stock DVs. These are stock DVs in this one? Yeah. So, really, it's not, we just got some injectors, not turned up terribly. Yep. Tiny. Just like a good fuel mileage testing. Yeah. So. Then we can swap injectors and see what changes. Real quick, what was the EGT on the valet mode? Valet mode, we topped out at? 1,030. 1,030, so we dropped like 70 degrees. Yeah. Or 80 degrees. So, yeah. we got the runs with smoke. We should have seen that by now. So now we're gonna compare EGT. Yep, smoke. What was the boost on these? Did we ever check that out? I, they're up here, but I don't know if I called it out. So on this one, it was 24.83 pounds of boost. On the valet. On the valet. What was it? Well, we'll compare. We can compare yeah. those. Yeah. Well, once we can compare. So we'll compare with the bigger fuel bit. So smoke. We're gonna compare the smoke. I'm like, here's about that. Yep. Compare EGT. Obviously power. Yep. That's a, that's really more fun. The power is the big one. But we wanna know smoke and EGT boost, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So now we're gonna get to work on a hot engine, and we're gonna swap some injectors and get right back at us. So we have same day testing. Here we yep. go. Here we go. I'm turning that fan back on. All right, you done? Yes. Injectors are in? Yes. How long did that take you? Like three and a half hours. Wrong. Gotten slower. I went to the NW, <laughs> I got a burger, fries, and drink, came back, ate it, and before I was done, thing was screaming. So about a drive through freaking Tyson. Six those. They make everything. All better. right, 
So it took about a drive through hamburger. That's how long it's going to take. Thank you. Yes. So that's about 25, 30 minutes. You took Amazing. three and a half hours to eat it. I take a long down. time to eat that <laughs> burger. Anyway, okay. drifters are in. We're going to go ahead and get this on the dyno fast and do the same pulls. Pull power, valet, towing. Yep. Let's do it. All right, guys, runs are done. We did quite a few runs. We did quite a few runs of every power level. Yeah. And yep. we just, so every one of these runs, we're just taking the best of each power level. Mm -hmm. They didn't vary more than a couple of horsepower, yeah. honestly. It's not like, like you're, three or, yeah. there's no like ring or runs. It's just, we want to get a lot of runs, make sure they're consistent. So uh, we're going to test smoke, EGT, power, boost, all that stuff. And yeah, so me and Mike are going to step out of the screen. We're going to zoom in on this big TV here so you can really see the data. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll be pointing to stuff, so let's get started. Yeah, I gotta go man the laptop. Man the laptop. Okay. So first one here, this is peak power. Oh, this is full power on, right? Yep, full power with uh, the old 5x11s. 5x11s. So this is the power gen 5x11s, 180 pumps, stock DVs. Yep. Okay, so 416 horsepower. And we have a video of the smoke, so you can kind of see that. They're pretty smoky at full power, mm. um, which you would expect yeah. at full throttle, full chooch. Mm -hmm. um, and then we put in the, this compared to the big ones. Big ones, 529, huge gain. <laughs> They're bigger. <laughs> they are bigger. And you can say, why are you doing an injector comparison test when they're so much bigger? So to be fair, whole size and everything else, these are smaller. Yeah. They are a physically smaller injector. They just move more fuel. They just move more fuel. And we didn't know how much the fuel they had moved when we had these made. So this is kind of our tester. But the interesting parts, the EGT and the uh, yeah. boost and stuff like so let's start comparing numbers so so there's your two runs you can see the obviously this is the new injectors the old injectors I mean, that's a huge difference in the graph and the curve there let's pull up the egt that's what's going to be really interesting to me how much hotter EGT. were the bigger injectors than the older ones that's going to be make that red for everyone okay so <laughs> the were, new ones were quite a bit colder they were cooler so this is the high power ones that is the bright line here this is the one they started pretty dang close i mean this is, this is a fair test so you can see the whole way through these injectors are cooler at the very end they were about 30 130 degrees cooler 130 degrees cooler making that much more power yeah and sometimes you can say well you put the fuel to it to cool it but if you're adding that much fuel to cool it you're losing power you're not picking up power yeah so this is just how so officially and how quick it burns. It's just burning faster by the time it gets out the exhaust because of mm -hmm. the way, it, well, <laughs> because of the magic. The it's the magic. magic. Yes. But hey. that's incredible to me. Is that that much cooler can, with I that much bigger pressure? I bring up boost really quick, but realistically, it's higher. <laughs> More boost, Let's which you know that. helps EGT. Oh, it's actually not as much as I thought. So we're only, we're only like 0.1 psi. Oh, I'm sorry. 1.1 psi higher at full chooch. So you're getting 100 horsepower more at the same boost level with less EGT. Yeah, and we were a little bit smokier on the full power run with the new injectors, but they're moving more fuel, but they're also burning it a lot more efficiently. So yeah. I think for our stage one injector, these are too big. Yes, we're gonna go, we're gonna get a smaller set. We're kind of giving you guys a glimpse into the R&D phase. We don't have these, these are not available to purchase as of yet. Maybe by the time you watch this video, if it's later, maybe, but we're working on that. So this is not gonna be our intro. So it's probably like our, like our second level. Mm -hmm. um, I, we're, yeah, so anyway, big power, 529 horsepower, over 100 horsepower increase over our 5x11s with less heat, uh, more boost, it's, it's amazing. So that's, that's full, full chew, just go to the, um, uh, the tuned, tuned mode, our towing tuned mode. All right, guys. So now we're on to the tuned mode. So let's go. So the the five by eleven power driven diesel injectors of five by eleven is a three hundred four horsepower, five hundred ninety four foot pounds of torque. It's a great towing setup. DGT was cool. It was awesome. Let's see what the new ones did. This picked up seventy five horsepower, three hundred four to seventy nine. Seventy five. <laughs> <75. laughs> that's legit. That's a, that's a good amount of torque too. Yeah, one hundred. 20 something, 126, 126 foot pounds, 75 horsepower. 
So a massive increase. Uh, let's look at the charts. Let's take a look at the power curve. Or, so this is quite amazing here. I mean, the EGT, well, first off, you can see the boost quite a bit higher. I mean, it's really, it took a little bit longer to go on, but then it just shot up. Mm -hmm. Really, and it carried it the whole way. I mean, just identical, whoosh, carried it across the whole way. What was peak boost on this one? Peak boost was 36 PSI. And what was, is the Before other one? it was, got to hold the mouse just right. Got to get it, it's going to come, it's coming. Ah. Oh, 32, 32. to 36. <laughs> So, 33, basically. So 33 to 36, that's three and a half PSI jump all the way across the board. Can we look at just the EGT so I can really focus on that? That's, yes. I, mean, I kind of see here, but it's kind of hidden. It'd be really interesting to see what that's going to look like. Okay. Oh, interesting. So the bright line is the is the more powerful injectors. The dull line is the old 5 by 11. So you but, started hotter. Yeah, I wonder why we started hotter. It's kind of interesting. So we start maybe just down but we started hotter and it actually cooled off. Yeah, it was burning cooler. Probably because the boost jumped up so high. I mean, it's just a little bit cooler yeah. and all that stuff. I mean, it's driving everything harder. And then it caught up right at the very end. And we're talking to, you know, 1114 versus 1116. So the same heat at 3100 RPM. You're not going to go that high towing trailers. This yeah. is a towing mode, but it just show you, shows you. That is, it stayed basically the same temperature here. Slight variation, but with 75 more horsepower. Yeah, and 120 foot pounds pretty, more. Yeah, it makes it totally good. trailer nice. Yeah, it's just amazing. So, and so this is why we're comparing these injectors because we, we, I just can't believe how much more power we can make at the same amount of heat. And actually, the smoke on that run, I think, was cleaner. I haven't seen the footage, but I, from yeah, looking, I think it was cleaner. When I'm yeah. like looking out the back of the truck, like I mean, yes, like, we don't have this thing tuned like to be super clean. We kind of yeah. have it just let it go, and then once the turbo lights, it cleans it up. But even though it's making that much more fuel, I think it burned that. I think it was cleaner just because of the way injectors work. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see if the footage shows, but I'm pretty sure it was cleaner. Um, all right, let's go to the valet mode. So we had a 75 horsepower, 100 and, what was the first one? 100 and, 100, the first? 115 horsepower? Anyway, it's 416 to 529, that's what it was. So a little over 100, 110 horsepower jump. This was a 261. Is this the... This is Valet. Valet mode is 261. With the 5x11s. 5x11s. Okay, and, and then... So 299. Yeah. So that's like 30... 30? 30, 30, 30, 38. 38. So nah. 38. So every time we cut, feel like just boom, 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 cuts it in half. So this is like, like serious Valet mode. We had it turned all the way off. Yeah. I think we ended up having like maybe one PSI in the hat. Yeah, so which isn't even enough to move, move the it. diaphragm. So yeah, we're good. The spring pressure is holding it back. So, so that really shows you both injectors have the capacity to move. All the pump can move in valet mode. It's not like the 5 by 11 is holding it back. Mm -hmm. It just shows you that how much more efficient this new design is and these new injectors are. Yeah, they're going to cost more. And that, but man, I, I think when we get like, they're going to be worth it, in my personal opinion. I think they're going to yeah. be awesome. And so, so 299 horsepower. All right, let's look at the power graphs. All right, so here's the power in valet mode. What's crazy to me is we're making 299 horsepower in valet mode. With the 5x11s, we made 301 in tuned mode. Yeah. It's just crazy to me how much more fuel, how much better it burns the fuel. Because I know the fuel's getting through, just is, is burning so much more efficiently. So, yeah, it's quite, quite the big... <laughs> What's crazy? So, and this anomaly here happens on basically every single run. So it's just the truck makes the truck really, really likes 2,900 and 2,200, 22 RPM. <laughs> Whatever it is, <laughs> Whatever it is, it's really happy there. But, but overall, the curve is huge. Let's pull up the EGT. I'd like to see yeah. in valet mode what that looks like. Uh, Agates is right there. Interesting. This is, so this one, we were quite a bit under this. We quite a bit under on this one. It's interesting and why that would be. So just so you guys know, what we would do is I get this thing up to about 1,700 RPM. I would let off and let it idle down to 1,500 RPM, which I'd flat foot it every time. It was very repeatable. And so this starts recording at 1,600 RPM. So for whatever reason, it's just hotter coming in the second one. So the, the, the original 511s were quite a bit hotter, but they kind of caught up. We're still a little bit lower, but for all intents and purposes, I'll say at steady state operation, they're about the same heat. Yeah, which the one thing is that this run is so long that like if you get a full power run, you start 200 degrees sooner, uh, lower, you're going to probably end, you know, 100 degrees on right. cooler. This run is so long because it is the valet mode. Like I, I still think that these injectors run cooler yeah. just because yeah, like, it had right. so much time to 
Catch to equalize, up. and it barely didn't. Only by like seven or eleven degrees, but like they definitely, they definitely a, a cooler running set with that extra power. Yeah, even valet mode, you can tow in valet mode. And what was EGT? A thousand degrees, a thousand twenty. Yeah. I mean, what was it like a 22, 2300 RPM where you're going to be towing? 22, right here, 23. Here, say 20 there ish. I mean, you're at 800 degrees versus 930. I mean, this is, in that area, it's super, super cool. I mean, you're going to yeah. warm up at a long, pulling a yeah, trailer grade. You're not going to sit there, but still, you're. Yeah, you're making a good amount of power and you're really not making too much heat. Yeah, that's wild. All right, guys, if this kind of testing is interesting to you, you gotta like and subscribe in this video. That's kind of how we know that people watch or like this content. So if you like this data-driven stuff, hit that subscribe button and we'll know, hey, this is what we need to be putting out there. So let's summarize our findings. I like these injectors better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, I mean, if it's, even if it's a more expensive set, I mean, it's gonna be a more expensive set. If yes. I was building a daily driver, if you were building a daily driver. Yeah, compared to common rail, still stupid cheap. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, if you're gonna put miles on a truck, yeah, but fuel economy, easy power. Like, so this is right now with a 6767. We've done some more testing with a, just a factory HX35 where we're very air limited and these injectors still picked up power. Yeah. So it was like, it's obviously burning more efficiently and I, I don't know an application where I wouldn't spend a little bit extra. Yeah. Unless it's you're going like, like super budget. That's probably like a couple hundred dollars difference. Yeah. But I mean, I know they're not expensive, but it's still, it's not a huge amount of money. Yeah. So anyway, we're excited to get these things like released. We're still r and d uh, again, this is, I think what we need to do is test these against a bigger set of injectors. Yep. Yeah, this is definitely came in a little spicier than we meant to. Yeah, so we, we need thought to this was going to be built to replace this size of injectors. Yeah. That's why we tested it. But Yeah, put some DVs in it, maybe a little bit of, a little bit more work supporting mods, valve springs, whatever we need yeah. to do. Like maybe, maybe a 5 by 14 test or something like that. That's kind of like... 600 horsepower shootout type of deal. So I think we'll test it. That'll be really, I'm really yeah. curious to see the EGT and stuff on that. Because we're yeah. still, this turbo has more capacity. For sure. I can't believe we're making this much power on 180 pump of stock DVs. I mean, really. It runs good. <laughs> that's pretty good. It's that's a pretty, pretty solid runner. Yeah, and so it's really, really cool. So anyway, guys, I think we're going to test out some more injectors. I want to test this turbo versus the stock turbo, too, just because we have the data. So we're going to get, we're gonna get a couple more videos out of this series. So anyway, yeah, like and subscribe, and um, yeah, we'll see you next time.